project pages within blocks are broken up into three sections. At the top of the page, we have the top global area. In the center, we have the dynamic area. And at the bottom, we have the bottom global area. You can easily identify the beginning and end of these sections as they are separated with the blue line. It's important to understand the differences between the dynamic and global areas as they may cause some confusion if you are new to blocks. The dynamic area is the portion of the page that is unique to the current page. Content placed here will only show on this page. The reason we refer to this area as dynamic is because the content in this portion of the page changes when a different page is selected. Content placed within a global area is a little different. This content is shown on every page. This means, when you make changes to content located in one of the global areas, those changes will be reflected on every page. The top global area is intended for content relating to your website navigation, and the bottom global area is intended for content relating to your website footer. It's also possible to turn off the global areas on any page if you do not want their content included. To turn off either of the global areas on the current page, Click the Page Settings button, located at the top of the main toolbar, and then uncheck the Global Area checkboxes. Finally, another useful tip to help you identify the blocks that are placed within a global area is to check the block layer in the layer tree. Blocks that are placed within a global area will have a distinctive blue trim on the left edge of the layer,